Throw away your power tools. No fancy equipment required. Just elbow grease. Hi guys, I'm Laurie Vitali, and today on Summer Desserts Unplugged, I'm gonna show you how to make peach shortcakes. Now I know we've all heard of strawberry shortcakes, but when peaches are in season, I just find every which way in the world to use them, and this is one of my favorite and easiest recipes. You're gonna need some standard, all-purpose flour, just regular old stuff, some granulated sugar, an egg yolk, salt, baking powder, unsalted butter, melted, heavy cream, and you're also gonna need an egg, some egg wash, which is just one beaten egg with a little bit of water, and then the filling, I'll show you just in a little bit. So, the first thing you wanna do is get your oven preheated to 400. The second thing you wanna do is take an eight by eight baking pan, and I've lined it with parchment paper, and I've also sprayed it with some nonstick cooking spray. So, in this big bowl, I'm gonna put in my flour, and my baking powder and salt. Now, this is gonna seem a little odd that I'm making shortcakes in a pan, but when I was growing up, I had a mother who did not have the patience at all to ever sit there and cut cookies with us and roll out biscuits. She tried to make everything as easy as possible, and this was really inspired by her because I wanted to make a recipe for you guys that was so simple, and you didn't need to spend time rolling out biscuits, getting the proper cookie cutter, all that fun stuff. I wanted it to be straightforward, I wanted it to be easy, I wanted you to be able to do it in no time, and tend, you know, attend to your guest. So, in this big bowl, I've added pretty much everything else. The sugar, the melted butter, the heavy cream, and the egg yolk, and I'm gonna take my little half moon whisk, and I'm gonna mix this all up. I'm gonna pour it into my dry ingredients. And I'm just gonna mix this together. And don't worry, trust me, this is still gonna be flaky. This is still gonna have that biscuit consistency and texture that we love from a shortcake. And then just press this into your little pan here. That simple. Nearly there. And I'm telling, I know what you're thinking. That is gonna be a thin little shortcake. It won't, it's gonna puff up. And then I'm gonna just brush the top with our egg wash, and this is gonna give it such a lovely golden brown color. And this is gonna go into your preheated oven at 400 for about 18 to 20 minutes, or until it's a lovely golden brown color. And then you're gonna let it cool completely, and then it's gonna be time to stuff this baby with some deliciousness and dig in. My shortcake baked for about 20 minutes, and I've let it cool completely, and now it's time to make the whipped cream. Now, the trick to making whipped cream without a mixer and you wanna do it by hand, just make sure that the bowl and the whisk that you're using is really, really cold. So I put it in the fridge for about an hour before I'm ready to use it. That way it whips up super fast. So all I've got in here is some whipping cream and I'm gonna just whisk it up until it becomes thicker and then I'm gonna add in some confectioner sugar. So this will take about a minute. It won't take very long because everything is so, so cold. I always use confectioner sugar when I make whipped cream because I just feel like regular sugar doesn't dissolve. And I don't like the little granules left behind. I like it to be nice and smooth. So I'm just gonna continue to whip this up until it develops some sort of a stiff peak. I'll show you what I mean by that. This is how I like my whipped cream. It's nice, not totally stiff, but stiff enough. I'm gonna take my shortcake out. Look at that, it's beautifully golden. I'm gonna cut this into six equal pieces. And like that. I'm gonna put these back for just a minute. Put your bottom half down. A little bit of whipped cream, kind of like glue. Lots of chopped up peaches. You can use other fruit if you want to, but I really like peaches, especially when they're in season. They're so sweet and juicy. A bit more whipped cream up top. Lid on. A little bit of confectioner sugar. And that's it. It's simple, it's easy, and you can make this the day before if you're having, if you're having a get together. My mouth is salivating, I'm so excited. I'm just gonna give this a quick bite. You can make this the day before if you want to and just keep it covered, and you're good to go. So fantastic. Crumbly, not overly sweet, but it just has such a nice mellow flavor that I think really showcases the peaches. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me. Also subscribe and just check out all the fantastic 
delicious recipe that I have to offer along with every single other wonderful program here on this channel. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. Next time on Summer Desserts Unplugged, I'm gonna show you how to make a smooth, velvety semi-fredo. The best kind of ice cream you'll ever put your lips around.